Hi, it's kind of windy and smoky out here today. Um, apparently we've been getting some smoke from those fires in Canada. Um, this is the one that's listed by Chris Van Meenan. It's point nine three of an acre. I think the problem you've got here is that where your house is going to go is going to be completely blocked by what we were talking about, the Pepto-Bismol house. So coming over here, it's got pretty views out of the back as well, and it does back up to National Park Service land. So this is the one that is 50 South Anasazi, but it does border this pink house. So really, it's up to this corner right there. And then around this way, it's got a fairly significant drop-off back here. So the only flat spot to build your house, in my book, like you could put it up more towards the corner. But there's really no way, shy of going off of this ravine, to get a lake view. So I'm not sure... Like, this is, this is a hell of a drop-off. Like, it's hundreds of feet down. So there's really no lake view from this property. There's just no way to put a house here and get a lake view. So I'm guessing that this one is off the table. So I'm just not going to spend a whole lot more time on it because this ravine is enormous. I really do think it's probably three, 400 feet down there so anyway there you have it I mean you've got pretty views out the front but there's no way that I can see really to section a house here like you're paying a premium and you've got the Pepto-Bismol house just right there so there is a titch of lake there but like you're not going to have any views out of your side windows you know nothing of the lake out of the back i mean the other views are nice but if what we're after here's a lake view this isn't the one